Oh, hey, Dai, what is up? Welcome back to a new video on my channel. Dai, it's that time of week. We are heading into week 11 of college football. Can you believe it? Week 11. Um, last week was a good week. A lot of good game last week. A lot of good game. Alabama had their second bye. I did not know that. Tell me down below if you knew that. Did you knew that college football had two bye weeks? When the NFL only have one? I did not know that. It kind of makes sense because college football is a lot longer season than NFL, but still, I did not know they had two buy compared to the NFL. Um, so, my team's ready to come out on Saturday and win. They're going up against a long team, which I'm going to go into in a little bit, but let's go into the house rules. So, that, if you are new to the Adventure Fam, Smash that subscribe button right here. Give this video a big thumb up. Turn on that bell notification so you know when I'm be posting a new video because I have so many ideas coming your way. So many adventures I'm gonna be vlogging. So just stay tuned y'all. So many. Um, maybe more privacy me videos coming up. We're getting into that season of the holiday and you can tell I'm getting all wet. It's pretty cold out. Oh, my hand is cold. I got my uh, latte here. To keep me warm. But we didn't get that thing. We have, uh, I think, um, a couple more weeks of November. No shave November. And then we're heading into Vlogmas, where there will be a video every single day of Vlogmas starting you time So you, you want to hit that subscribe button now because you do not want to miss no video at all. So. With all that out of the way, comment down below what team are you looking forward to watching this weekend? You already know what I'm watching. Um, it's tomorrow at 3.30. Let's go. I'm pumped. Who's ready? Um, so, let's get right into this. Enough of me talking. Let's get right into the good stuff. The thing that you want to know the most. Who's going to win and who's going to lose for week 11 of college football? Starting off with Wool Tide, Alabama. Throwing up at then LSU, they're both 8 and 0, but they're only gonna be one winner and one loser. So I wonder who's gonna lose. Not my team. My team's gonna win. So. This week, 9 and 0. Let's go, Alabama. Then the next thing we got is Maryland versus Ohio State. Now, Maryland playing some good football. Ohio State is doing all right. They can do better. I would want to see a upset and have Maryland win because they've been doing so well the last couple of weeks and I've been looking at their staff. But they have an undefeated team, Ohio State, and Ohio State is up in that top section of really good football program. So it's gonna be a tough thing for Maryland, but if Maryland plays one throughout the whole entire game, they could make it up that. It's possible, but I think I'm gonna say Ohio State. Then we got Penn State, that horrible defense. Like, wow, that defense. You do not want to play against that defense. That defense is one of a kind. And it's, they're playing against Minnesota. Minnesota's gonna struggle with that defense. So I'm going to tell them Penn State's going to win. Then we go into Florida, the Dado, Dado Town, and Vanderbilt. I think Florida's going to win this one just clearly by how well both of the teams are playing this year. It's going to be a good game, but I think Florida's going to come out on top. Then we got Baylor and TTU. I kind of want to see Baylor stay undefeated, so I'm going to go with Baylor. Then we got the Mustang versus East Carolina. And right here, I think Mustang is playing really good football. Like, they could potentially win this matchup than East Carolina. Um, they've been looking pretty damn good, die. Pretty damn good. So, I think I'm going to call this and Mustang an upset. I think Mustang did, did an upset a couple weeks ago, so I think, I think he can do another upset. 
Then we got Panda State for Longhorn Tester. Longhorn Tester is a good football program, like good football. Panda State um, won last week, but it was a slow thing. They almost lost. I think I would try to want Longhorn to win this one. But I will say this matchup is going to be a hell of a good game. It's going to be a great game to uh, pay attention to. Then we got Virginia Tech and Wake Forest. Virginia Tech is good, but Wake Forest is just much better. They'll they know how to control the slot. They know how to do offense and defense. They are they got weapon. I think Wake Forest is gonna be eight and one. Then we got Cincinnati and Utah. Utah is not doing that good. They're more known for the basketball, but they're doing all right, but not good enough. So with that being said, I might have to go with Cincinnati on this game. Then we got Iowa both Wisconsin. This is gonna be a good game. Both of these teams are playing really good football this season. If I had to just pick a winner, it's gonna come down to the last quarter. It could be a three-point game. And I think Wisconsin's gonna be ahead by just a point or two points, but I think Wisconsin's gonna win. But it could also go the other way. It could be an Iowa upset with Taunton that could also happen. He said it's gonna be a amazing game. Both of these teams are gonna fight to the end with that good. When you're watching football, that's what you want to do. You want to see both teams fighting to the end. Even if you're like, even if you start the football game and you're up by like three touchdowns, you still want to fight to the end no matter how many points you're down and how many points you're up. So the next thing we got Missouri for Georgia. This one, I'm clearly gonna pick Georgia just by how well they are playing. But Missouri's gonna give them a taste of their medicine, but I think Georgia's gonna top it off in the last quarter. Then we got North Carolina State for Clemson. You all know I'm not a big fan of Clemson, but I have relatives who used to work there and don't do football games, so I would say Clemson will win. Then we got Notre Dame versus Duke. Now this one, I don't know, I don't think Duke can pull it off in the Notre Dame. That good hell of a football team is really good. Notre Dame is one of the top leads. They're known for their football every single year. So I think Notre Dame's gonna have an easy win this way, but it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good game, but I think Notre Dame's gonna win. Then we got Iowa State and Oklahoma. Clearly, Iowa State is gonna show Oklahoma a taste of their medicine, for sure. It's gonna be a game that you do not wanna miss on Saturday at 8 o'clock. Oklahoma is one of those teams that is in the top of the league, but I think Iowa State is gonna show them up and just give them a taste of their medicine. I kinda want an upset and I want Iowa State to win. Then we got Boise State and Wyoming. Wyoming is where Shaw Allen, the Buffalo Bills quarterback, went to do it last year, so... Not last year, the year before that. Two years ago, my bad. Losing crash of the year. Um, so... I don't know. It's gonna be a good thing. Alright, Ty. Um, I'm editing tomorrow's video, which is the Tallinn Week 11 football position and I'm at the end of the video and I forgot to tell you who's gonna win the last game between Wyoming and Boise State. Um, I did talk about Josh Allen two years ago came out of Wyoming and Boise State is playing very well football this year so um, it's gonna be a good matchup between both teams on Saturday night at 10 but I think Boise State's gonna win but I think Wyoming's gonna stick with it until the fourth quarter, but Boise State's gonna come out on the end. So, those are my week 11 of Tyler Football Prediction. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you have any team that you want to win, 
that I have losing or you agree with me, comment down below. I would like to know your idea. And before we get into how we normally end the video, let me just remind you guys that find your magic moment, y'all. Uh, be true to yourself. Stay strong. Believe in yourself. Tell yourself that you can do anything you want in life, no matter who tells you you can't. Always find people that will be behind you and support you, but willing to take the risk and let you be you. And also, don't remind somebody after you watch this video, don't text them or call them and say they are worth it, because it will put a smile on their face. Because remember y'all, you are worth it, no matter what life bring you, no matter how good or bad that your day is, just remember that, you are worth it. So with that being said, let's get right into some random dancing and end this vlog. See you in the next video.